Welcome back to your Innovations channel. This is a channel whereby you're going to get all notifications on financial literacy, education, creativity, innovations, and investments. So today uh, we are hosting one and only Kibra aspiring MP, uh, Madam Malasin Hamida, who is here with us today. Mm -hmm. We are in her office in Kibra constituency, and I want to know more about the journey, her journey to join politics and all that. So don't forget to subscribe to your Innovations channel smash the like button for the sake of our videos to be recommended to as many people as possible. My name is Yasin, Yasin Innovations Editorial Group Managing Director. Karibu sana mwashimiwa. Asante. Na si tunashukuru sana kwa kutukaribisha kwa ofisi yako leo. Naam. Eh, who is a honorable Malasin kwanza kwa sababu mtazamaji labda anashindwa. Huyu ni nani kwanza? Huyu ndani. Naam. Ah, Malasin ni mtetezi wa haki. Naam. I would say I'm a social Mm. Uh, political uh, and environmental uh, activist. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I then uh, none the bango up. Absolutely. Yeah. Climate change uh, yeah. action champion. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Malasen Pia. Mm -hmm. Malasen also is somebody who has developed a mature mm -hmm. and responsible approach to anything she undertakes. Okay. So I uh, I give my all to any task mm -hmm. that uh, presents itself to me. Okay. Yes. This means that uh, when you say uh, you have a, uh, you have a enough maturity to, to lead, yes. it means that the path that, that you've chosen, <clears throat> you're doing it fully yes. with the full decision that you need this thing. Yes. So, uh, unasimama kiticha MP Naam. here in Kibra. Naam. Uh, what motivated you to vie in Kibra and not elsewhere? Well, I'm born and bred in Kibra. Okay. Mimi ni mzaliwa wa Kibra. Okay. Lakini hiyo sio sababu tu. No. Ya uaniaji wangu iwe Kibra. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu tunaelewa pia Mkenya yeyote anaweza wania popote pale. Kweli. Na kuishi popote. Lakini sasa mimi no. nikaamua nataka kuania Kibra mm -hmm. kwa sababu ya upungufu ambao nimeuona Kibra. Okay. Kuna mambo mengi vile nimekwambia mimi ni mtetezi wa haki ya kijamii mm -hmm. na mtetezi wa haki wa kisiasa mm -hmm. na pia mtetezi wa haki wa kimazingira. Mm -hmm. Tukiangalia mazingira ya Kibra mm -hmm. wakati uh, wakazi wa watu wa kwanza that is the community ya kwanza kuja ndani ya Kibra mm -hmm. ilikuwa ni mahali nzuri sana. Kwanza the word Kibra itself mm -hmm. inamaanisha msitu. Mm. Yeah, kwa lugha mm. ya Kinubi. Naam. So wakati Wanubi walikuja kwanza mm -hmm. ilikuwa msitu. Okay. Na mazingira ya msitu unaelewa ni mazingira ya aina gani? Mm. Mazingira tulivu, mazingira nzuri, mm. mazingira iliyo safi, mm. mazingira nzuri sana. Mm. So conducive environment to live in, mm. to learn, to do everything and it is comfortable living in Kibra. It was mm. very comfortable living in Kibra. Mm -hmm. Sasa wakati nilizaliwa Kibra, Kibra ilikuwa nzuri nzuri sana ilikuwa mm. ni kijiji mm. ambapo ukulima ulikwepo unapata tulikuwa na ngombe kuna yule kuna ile familia ilikuwa na zizi la ngombe mm. kuna wale walikuwa na mbuzi kuna wale walikuwa na uh, panda chakula mm. so haya ndio mambo ambayo alinifanya mm. nikaamua kuwa mtetezi wa mazingira okay. kuangalia jinsi tutafanya mazingira yetu yawe mazuri vile labda haita kuwa nzuri ku, mm. kama vile ilikuwa mwanzo mm. lakini tuku kuangalia jinsi tutaijaribu ikuwe nzuri zaidi kwa mm. wakati huu na iwe ni mahali nzuri ya mtu kuishi. Okay. Na, na ukianzisha huu mradi labda wa mazingira women initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, ukasema ni mazingira ulikuwa nataka kuunda. Mm -hmm. uh, je, kuna mpangilio upi labda ambao umeweka labda kutafuta usaidizi kutoka kwa mashirika mengine tofauti kwa sababu inaonekana inaweza kawa vigumu sana yani kufanya kazi ukiwa peke yako. Mm -hmm. Lazima uwe na muungano na support from the maybe NGOs or the government. Mm -hmm. Ni mpangilio nao upi ambao unao labda wa kupata support kutoka kwa serikali ama other NGOs. Okay. Nimefanya kazi na shirika nyingi sana. No. Zisizo za kiserikali, ya serikali mm. na washikadau tofauti tofauti kulingana na mazingira. Uh -huh. uh, tumeshirikiana na serikali, tumefanya kazi pamoja, tumefanya cleanups pamoja, hata kuna picha ambazo na documentation zile tulifanya. Mm -hmm. Na ikafika mahali tumeendelea kufanya kazi pamoja mpaka sasa hata kwa upandaji wa mti mm -hmm. napata mti da, miche kutoka kwa serikali okay. na toa miche kutoka kwa county government okay. napewa kwa sababu ya ile kazi unafanya na vile tumeshirikiana
Okay. So napata partnership uh, at that level napata msaada kutoka kwa serikali ya Miche mm. alafu tumeshirikiana na ma organization tofauti tofauti mm. kwa kuangalia jinsi ya mazingira tutafanya. Mm. Kwa kijamii uh-huh. tumeshirikiana pia na mashirika tofauti tofauti mm. kulingana na masala ya wanawake, uh-huh. haki za wanawake, haki ya watoto uh-huh. na haki ya kijamii lakini tunailete tuna mental health issue uh-huh. lakini hapo hapo tunaleta that aspect na aspect of uh, environment conservation okay. kwa sababu tunaona kuna um, hii jambo ambalo ni mpya uh-huh. na nigeni uh-huh. inaitwa mabadiliko ya tabia nchi uh-huh. climate change okay. uh, tukiangalia effects za climate change imeingia na ina to affect uh-huh. kwa nyanja tofauti tofauti uh-huh. na it's a global calamity yeah. it is a global calamity but it is with us yeah saizi hata hata tukiangalia kuna tofauti mm. ya hali ya anga kabisa mm-hmm. kupitia mwaka kumi iliyopita unapata januari tumezoea inakuwa gani jua kali mm. na ni ukame kabisa mm. lakini pia tunashangaa januari wakati mwingine kuna ubaridi fulani fulani kama saa hizi mm. unapata kuna mvua inanyesha januari ambayo ni jambo lisilokuwa la kawaida hiyo mm. ni kutokamana na ubadiliko ama mabadiliko ya mazingira na. ama hali ya anga na, na ulikuwa ukifanya hili uh, uh, kuhamasisha watu katika eneo bonge la Kibra peke yake ama ni nje pia ulikuwa unafanya yani nje na Kibra mm. umekuwa yani broad outside the Kibra constituency you've been uh, practicing this ama yeah. ni Kibra peke yake ah kana si Kibra peke yake no. uh, tumeshirikiana na mashirika tofauti tofauti nje za Kibra mm-hmm. na within Nairobi county mm-hmm. uh, tumepa, tumefanya upanzi wa mti katika Madhare Kariobangi Korogosho mm na tumefanya Dandora tumefanya kazi huko in line with the environment mm. tumefanya clean up mali tofauti tofauti pia mm. so kazi yangu si sijaifanya kibra peke yake lakini mm. pia nimeangazia Nairobi county mm. na pia niko na project mm-hmm. ya 500,000 fruit trees upandi upandaji wa miti mm-hmm. wa matunda mm-hmm. elfu laki tano So hiyo laki tano of course kibra ni ndogo mm. haita tosha kibra peke yake itabidi mm. nitoke Nairobi mm. na hata itabidi nitoke nje ya Nairobi mm. kuhakikisha uh, matakwa yetu na azimio yetu tumeiangazia okay na, na ili wazo la kuwa mbunge mm-hmm. how did it come mm. to your mind that you need to serve the people of kibra don't you see that you'll be limiting other people that have been receiving your services <laughs> Ha, ah, moto hilo. Ah, hilo swali. Ah, ah, unajua? Mm-hmm. Ah, hili kazi. Mm-hmm. Uh, environment conservation mm-hmm. nilianza siku mm. ianza tu kwa sababu ya fikra. Mm. Ilikuwa kwenye manifesto yangu mm-hmm. ya kusimama mm-hmm. 2017. Mm-hmm. So niliamua You vied in 2017. Nilivai in 2017 lakini sasa sikufika kwa ballot. Okay. Nilifika tu kwa pani pami party primaries. Okay. So hapo ndio kura hazi kutosha. Mm. So lakini hapo hapo mm-hmm. despite the fact that sikufika kwa ballot mm-hmm. nilikuwa na manifesto. Okay. So now nilisema okay after ndio uh, sikupata kiti mm. inamaanisha manifesto lazima iangaziwe. Mm. So I start actually looking for something to do within my manifesto ndio nikaingilia environment. Okay. Lakini azma yangu ilikuja kwa sababu ya wakati tulipitisha katiba 2010 mm-hmm. wakati tulipitisha katiba kulikuwa na positions within the the, the within uh, the constitution mm-hmm. kukawa na nafasi sita mm-hmm. za kuaniwa mm-hmm. sasa nafasi ya mbunge nimeona ilikuwa the second last okay. ilikuwa hapo chini tu ah yani ni kama tu ilikuwa tu hapo chini mm-hmm. alafu delimitation of boundaries boundaries zikapasuliwa langata ilikuwa kubwa sana mm-hmm. lakini sasa langata ikapasuliwa mara mbili kawa langata na kibra mm-hmm. alafu nafasi za kina mama zikawa very clear within the constitution yeah. ambapo niliona kwa sababu nilikuwa nafunza katiba okay. nilihusika nili katika utundi uh, nini participation okay. within the, uh, the the making of the constitution yeah. so in that alafu tukafanya pia civic education sana kuhamasisha watu kuhusiana na katiba mm-hmm. so hapo ndo niliona kuna opportunity mm-hmm. na nikaona hiyo kiti ya second last why mm-hmm. not mm, it's better uh, it is better yeah. mm. instead of going for big positions mm-hmm. that uh, itakuwa ni hapo chini chini kidogo sasa hapo chini ndio nikasema hiyo ya, ya pili ya mwisho eh. Eh. si ya mwisho kabisa number two from behind yeah, from behind 
Yes. <laughs> uh, being, being the last, uh, uh, getting the last position doesn't mean that you are last in yes. brain. Yes. Yeah, you're going to serve more people. Mm. And unajua kila kitu ambacho unafanya unafanya kwa ni flani. So, what is that thing that you've identified that mm. your predecessor or predecessors, mm. because there are many, yeah. that have not done that you feel like this is the thing that I'm going to... It's an obligation to me, mm. uh, being the member of parliament of Kibra, mm. to serve people from Kibra constituency. Well, there's a lot. Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, my predecessors, I respect them, mm. uh, and I love what they did at, during the time. Okay. And uh, for me, mm-hmm. I want to do something better and different. Okay. If whatever they did, mm. I want to make it better. Yeah. And uh, whatever they did not do, mm. I want to do it because uh, uh, previously. Uh, we had uh, MP Kenokoth. Okay. That is after Baba. Yeah. And Baba, we take uh, cognizant. He's a national figure. Yeah. And uh, his politics was not local. It was international. It was national politics, yeah, national. basically. Mm. So I will not judge him so harshly. But uh, what I will say, mm. uh, I will follow the footsteps of um, my former, my direct former MCA, mm. who was uh, the late uh, Im- uh, Ken, the late Ken Okoth. Yeah. He did a lot in line with the environment, with the, sorry, education. I love environment that I actually <laughs> talk about it every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But in terms of education, he did well. Mm-hmm. And we appreciate him. Okay. We love him for what he did. Yeah. But uh, in matters uh, uh, employment mm. and uh, uh, empowerment, mm-hmm. not employment per se, mm. because uh, uh, employment will come as a result of empowerment. If somebody is empowered, he mm. will be more creative mm. to actually True. seek for employment and actually uh, develop something to, to, to actually serve as employment. That's true. So in terms of um, empowerment, mm-hmm. that is what I've seen as a void for both the youth and women. And uh, bearing in mind, if the women are not empowered well, mm. it uh, trickles to the children, it trickles to the youth. True. So if the, the women are empowered enough, yeah. they even serve their husbands Better. and even their families. This world is actually held by women. True. So when we empower women, mm. lives become easier for everyone within the community. Mm. So my number one thing mm. uh, is, uh, is uh, the drive and motivation to actually serve the women and the youth. Okay. To see them uh, better okay. in terms of uh, livelihoods, in terms of uh, mental uh, issues, because currently we are grappling with the mental health issues. True. Yes. And this is where I was coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> we can see Kibra being a uh, held with a lot of social crimes in the city. Mm-hmm. What are the measures that you would like to take to to tackle these? Mm-hmm. Yeah, social crimes within the constituency. Yeah, yeah. Well, my my uh, approach. Yes. First of all, I've just identified that uh, a lot of crime mm. and a lot of challenges that we are facing is as a result of mental health issues. Okay. Because uh, when somebody commits a crime, mm. just to make somebody feel bad. Eh? it means that person is sick because you cannot uh, be violent mm. you cannot uh, be you, you not engage in crime if you're mentally stable because you'll understand relationships to the level whereby if somebody does anything wrong you'll understand that people do mistake there is nobody who's perfect True. so i believe uh, with the covid <coughs> issues and the covid challenges mm. that the lack of unemployment, the hunger that we have, mm. people are hungry, mm. and uh, a hungry mind is an angry mind. Eh? Mm. It's an angry person. True. So, mm. so by the end of the day, mm. you'll find that people are grappling with mental health issues. You know, watu hawa zungumzi, watu hawa patani kwa sababu ya hayo mambo. So, it uongozi um, wangu ile kitu itafanya, ita italeta mswada mm. na ilete mental health issues nyumbani kwa sababu saa hizi mtu ha, watu hawajielewi mm. kwa sababu hawajui kama wakati unapata stress paka inafika depression hiyo mm. unahitaji msaada wa ki wa ki specialized treatment true so hiyo ndio tukianzia hapo mm-hmm. watu waanze ku realize mm. saa zile wako na changamoto mm. inabidi wazungumze mm. na wapate msaada wa kiakili mm. ama wa ki support mm. from professionals yes so people will understand how to deal with their stress mm. and actually think better and become creative because creativity is within the mind true 
sasa unapata kama you cannot think better you cannot be creative True. so by the end of the day hakutakuwa na shida na hiyo ndio ile kitu itafanya to de- to we deal with the social crimes okay. because children are engaging in crimes mm. as a result of frustration from the family okay yes and uh, to someone who is looking at you now mm-hmm. someone watching you mtoto wa kike ambaye anakutazama labda anaazimiwa kama lako naam unaweza kumwambia vipi kwa sababu kuna mtu hapa nje labda mm-hmm. ana changamoto maybe lack of school fees mm-hmm. eh, labda kwa sana kwa wazazi mm-hmm. anapitia changamoto nyingi sana lakini akiwa Uh, mdogo alikuwa na ndoto bado mm-hmm. lakini ametoka kwenye line mm-hmm. how do you advise that l- young lady watching you mm-hmm. or young man watching you that maisha sio vile anafikiria maisha mm-hmm. yeah ile kitu nitaambia the young people yeah. uh, is that uh, life is not a straight line is not straight line and uh, changamoto huwa na life uh, conflict is a must due to interaction na matatizo kama hayo yasimfanye mtu yeyote kuachilia malengo yake True. kwa sababu shida za kifamilia huwa wakati mwingine tuko na wazazi ambao hawana nafasi ama hawana uwezo wa kutu, wa kutuelimisha hawana nafasi ya kutufanyia yale tunataka lakini tukiendelea kuwa na na tukiamua kufanya mambo ambayo hayastahili in fact tuna, tunawaletea matatizo wao na tunajiletea sisi mm-hmm. there are so many avenues in line with the education kama mzazi hawezi hawezi kukulipia fee mm. na hana uwezo wa kukulipia si ati hataki kukulipia mm. kuna mashirika ambazo ziko hapa nje mm-hmm. ambazo ziko tayari kumsaidia yule mtoto wa kike mtoto wa kiume ambayo ana nia ya kusoma ambapo pia jambo nyingine wazazi pia wanapitia changamoto zao kama wanadamu mm. so mtoto ukiona mzazi anapitia changamoto muelewe kama mwanadamu understand that person without judgment unaweza pata ma- mzazi uko na mzazi mzuri amekulea lakini ana uraibu wa pombe ni mlevi usianze kumhukumu ile kitu unaweza fanya mpatie support mwamweleze vile unampenda lakini mwambie athari ya ile kitu wanafanya mzazi ni mwanadamu pia atamwelewa tuko na wazazi ambao kuna watoto ambao wamezaliwa wanalelewa na single mothers unapata kwa, kwa familia ya single parent not only single mothers we have even single fathers so. we have a uh, we don't judge wewe ni mtoto wewe ni kijana you don't judge you don't understand this, what, the situation So wewe ile kitu unaweza fanya peana support na ushughulikie focus yako. Kama ni masomo angazia masomo. Na kama uko na mzazi ni mmoja mpatie support naye pia aweze kwa sababu aweze kukupatia ile support unahitaji. Ni kweli. Naam. Ni muungano huo. Ni muungano kabisa. Ha. Ni muungano. Uh, tukielekea kwa siasa kidogo kwa dakika moja. Mm-hmm. Unaweza kumwambia vipi mpiga kura wa Kibra? Mm-hmm unatumia chama gani hmm. na unasimama nani he he. He, na siku ya mwisho wa kuchukua kura ni uh-huh. kesho kuto kesho kuto naam na majina ni Malasen Hamida Twahir Mama Mazingira mm, na wania kiti ya ubunge Kibra na siku ya mwisho wa kuchukua kura ni kesho kutwa tarehe sita na penye imefika na waomba kura zenu lakini pia tujue ya kwamba kama utachukua kura sauti yako haitasikika na hiyo ni, ni, ni haki yako ya kimsingi kumchagua umtakaye na tunaelewa vizuri sana kupitia siasa e, miradi za kimaendeleo mambo za bajeti kila kitu eh, kupitia bunge kupitia bunge la county kupitia bunge la kitaifa kwa hivyo naomba nafasi yako ni kuwakilishe ipitishe msaada wako unaotakikana naomba kura yako ushapata ujumbe kamili mpiga pi, mpiga kura kutoka Kibra constituency this is the honorable right honorable ya yeah?
Yeah, it's only six months to the elections date. We are hoping that uh, kila mtu atakuwa amechukua kura by tarehe sita. Uh-huh. That is two days to come. Yes. Zinaisha. Yes. Uh, kwa hivyo upige kura mm-hmm. si sawa. ANC is the party. ANC is the party by the way. Yeah. Kenya kwanza. <laughs> Kenya ah, kwanza. <laughs> Kenya kwanza. Tumeweka taifa bell. Tutengeneze Kenya uchumi. Kenya kwanza. Yeah. And Africa is our business. Exactly. Yes. You've gotten it from the right person. You are saying subscribe to your innovations channel. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you.